hi it's Jess here from Now Jessica Creates so thanks for joining me today so it's my turn again in the Rachel Bella Crafts Journal and Jigsaw Crafting a Garden Story collaboration <laughs> so it's the 29th and so I am partnered with Samantha Magnus and we're doing quaint altered paper clips i'm doing the rustic and grungy samantha's doing the bright and shabby so um i have done two versions and if i've got time i'm going to do a third one um so i have done a massive one thought i'd show you right at the beginning oh where have i put you so i've got this so i've got a little one and a big one um so the little ones um simply done like so i'll show you how to do that one it won't take long um whereas this one was well, about 30 minutes to do um that's with me sort of yeah cutting bits out and what have you there you're going in now so this one i just so I put it on there and then i just held a tag in there so i thought that looked nice this one, massive, over the page, it's, this one holds um, a bit of a vintage document there. This is 1929, nice little stamp on there. I thought the colour went nice, I thought it matched the colour on this tag here very well. Got a bit of journaling there and then that can hold that in place, which is one of the reasons for having altered paper clips. On this side, um, we've got a little tag there, in there, and it holds in place. This is one of the sort of plain pages you get at the beginning of a book. This one's from a Reader's Digest condensed book, and it's just an extra bit of journaling, like so. And this will also come off, so you've then got your pages underneath if you want to journal as well so it's it's two tags um and um and pocket so quaint is about being um sort of attractive in an old-fashioned way and i think by doing the grungy and choosing these particular um tags and sort of seed packets from the kit I've got the old fashioned done and that's a lovely sort of old fashioned design there, adding a bit of stitching as well. So it looks a little bit make do and mend. We've got rustic with our jute and our oh, a brain fog cheesecloth. So and I, I am probably going to do a third one. Oh, I put you all the way over. Um, that I thought of, um, but I'm not showing you that because I haven't made it yet. So we'll, I'll just show you how to make these really quick, simple um, little ones. So I have taken these little sort of tickets with, well, they're just tickets really, aren't they? So they're like, and, and like we don't get tickets like that anymore. So that's a little bit sort of old fashioned, isn't it? That was what I thought. So I'm going to just cut them out. I mean, they're kind of, the way the design goes on these particular ones, it's sort of joined onto that. But I'm tucking it off. Tucking it all off. So cut them out. So I might now zoom to it being finished. So that's been cut out. I want them to be of the same size. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my little stub. I don't actually think I did. Right, I'm just gonna use, not the full stub. I'm just going it in part way. Do a partial stub. Don't have to be perfect. You can use a circle punch for this as well. That kind of works. Oh, this needs emptying. It's like well full. There we go. So that's them done. 
that'll do. So, and then we're going to ink all the way around it, which I will fast forward through. So there they are inked, and I've put a little bit of ink on the back because you probably will see a little bit of, of that. And then I've got a little bit of Edith. Um, she is a little bit too wide, so I'm just going to cut her down a bit because I want her to be slightly thinner than, um, than the ticket themselves. So I went to about one inch. There we go. Oh, that do. So I'm gonna. That's gonna be there. That's gonna be tail. So cut that off there. Right. So give that a crease. Get my bone folder out. There we go. So that's gonna go on there like that. I've chosen Edith Holden two reasons one i think it's just a really good color um and it, it's quite nice and stiff i did packaging on one of the examples and it really wasn't it really wasn't thick enough i'm not even sure if i've done that straight let me just straighten that there we go so now i want paper clip so I've got my paper clips there we go I'll have one of these they're about they're a two inch paper clip nice size so your paper clip goes over the end like so these are going to get stuck down so I want to flag the end so I'm going to use my little scissors. I'm going to come straight up the centre and I'm going to stop about there. It's just random what I've done. Centimetre, just over a quarter of an inch. Not that it really matters that much. Just to give ourselves a little flag so it looks attractive kind of back to the bunting again there we go which was my first project that i did for the collaboration where have you come from no idea so i am going to ink around um, this a bit because you will see a little bit on the end right so that's ready so just where you might sort of see so you might you see a bit at the top like so and what i did was i poked it up a little bit and i got a little bit of i used some jute because that does look a little bit old-fashioned and i'm gonna undo it so we just have A single bit so it's really rustic so this is my rustic I'm just going to poke it through there I'm just going to tie a little double knot so I'm going left over right and then right over left. And I find with altered paper clips that I like to have a little bit of something that I can grab hold of, just find it easier, whether it's a tab or in this case, a bit of string. I just find it um, just a little bit easier for grabbing to take it off. And then we need to hold the pin in place paper clip in place and um, you can use glue I quite like to make sure so I'm going to use a bit of packaging tape so cutting that vaguely 
the right length and then I'm going to cut it in half because it's wider than required. So I'm going to put that over there. Uh, take the end off. It is too long. And then we'll stick the other one on. Let's just wiggle you a little bit because you're not quite straight. Yeah. Stick that one on, take the end off. There we go. So all the paper clips are done in it, sort of adding them are done in a similar way, whether it's the big one I've made or the little ones. You need a bit of paper that you attach your paper clip to, and then you add something on top for the decorative element. There you go. And then I'm going to get a bit of art glitter glue and I'm going to make sure that there's still glue all the way around this. I'm going to go around the end and we're going to come down the edges and we're going to go as far as, yeah, just below that and up the edge. So this is paper clips to go side on. I'm going to go along the top and along the bottom and then just vaguely up the middle. Yeah, so these are side on as opposed to top down. The other ones are top down. So I'm going to get that in the middle. Right, and what I need to do before I go any further is I need to just take a little bit of that corner off. Should have done this before. Just use scissors just cut the corner off. Otherwise we're going to see it. There we go. They are disaster averted. And then on the other side We'll do the same. So we want to go down the edge, but not too close to the edge. I don't want it to ooze and end up going over. We'll go round the paper clip. Although the packaging paste, paper tape, even. We'll hold it in place and then we want to make sure that we're not putting it upside down so it's that way. Yep. And then stick that in place, matching up the two sides. And that is it. Really very simple. This one. No rocket science involved. And then we can find a place to pop that. Go nicely on there. And it can hold, there we go. We've got a bit of an altered, altered envelope in there. So it will hold that. Quite nicely, you can't see that one, but you can see that one, and I can check tag in there if I wish to. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use this sheet here. Uh, I think this is from um, Angela's kit. I just felt it was a little bit grungy, um, sort of seed packet fronts, and um, and of course that goes with the grungy. Um, and rustic thing that I'm doing. So I want to rip them. So I'm going to use a, a paintbrush um, to paint down where I want to rip because um, that kind of makes it a little bit easier. It sort of weakens the fibre and um, helps you rip because I want to make sure I get the full 
sort of image so I'm just going all the way down here and hopefully now yeah I'm, I'm able to rip down that line mostly on a little bit over there not a problem but certainly better oh, better than I would have probably done without that now we'll now we'll rip across here there we go so I want all the edges to be ripped so I'm gonna rip along here as well I love a bit of ripping and it might alter the ink a bit. Got a little bit green there because um, it's just an ordinary inkjet printer, so it won't. Um, so it's the ink's not waterproof, but that just adds to the grunginess of of everything. I've seen people that can rip in a straight line really well. I'm not one of those. Right, I want to come in a little bit here. So let's got more to hold on to at the bottom. So we'll go bottom up. There we go. I'm ripping under. If you rip the other way, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's took that off. This is 200 GSM cardstock I'm using. So I think we'll go blue on the other side. So this is going to go over the page. So an image on each side. So if I pull this way, the other way I pulled that under, if I pull over, you get a little bit of the of the core, which is nice when you sort of ink it up. I say I'm not bothered about the uh, odd bit of ripping into it because we are a bit grungy. So... If you've got thinner paper, it will rip a bit better doing this. Yeah. There we go. So that's what I'm doing. With that, and I'm just going to bin that lot. So we've got there some orangey bits, so I'm going to pink them. Just using vintage photos, ordinary distress ink. There we go. So we've got that. Now it isn't printed on the back, but that's fine because I am going to cover it. So I'm going to take these tags here. I think they'll look nice on, on this. I've got a little bit, you can see a little bit of water on here. I just want to dab it up and you can see there I've got a little bit where the inks run I love it but yeah so I thought I put one there so we're going to do a sort of a paper clipped over the page sort of tag you may already know that because I might have shown you that in the introduction but I don't know because I've made a prototype of a different paper clip and I just thought, I ain't got time to do a prototype of this one. So I thought I'm just going to get on and make it. I'm going away, so I won't be around when this, get, this airs. So if you comment, it may be a while before I reply to it because... Where I'm going, there is, oh, that's just not, that's just not playing ball, that one. Um, 
yeah where I'm going there is um, limited internet sometimes it's non-existent so uh, yeah but I might try I might have a few moments where I can um, yeah, so if I can, I'll try. I think that's not going all the way in, is it? That one's no good, Jess. That one's no good. You could just cut it, but it's not how I roll. So bringing in this one because it's a bit bigger. Right, don't want it all the way there. Go there. So I'm, I'm at the same. I'm at the bottom of the where it curves in. It's going to go different at the top. There we go. Get out. So we'll do the same on the other side. Line it up with the bottom. There we go. We should be even Stephen now. Yeah, we are. That'll do me. So, and then I want to round the bottoms. So I might go for the big one. Don't use the big one very often, but I am today. Okay. So, got them. Don't think it matters very much, Jess. There you go. So that's that. So that's all very nice and grungy looking. So I want these to sort of go over the page. So um, we need the paper clip to go on the inside. And I want a sort of a pocket because obviously if this is going over the page on the paper clip, We've got no journaling aspect of it. All we've got is something rather decorative, but we want we want some journaling in it. So I could um, create a pocket with this and I can either have something going in the top or something in the side. Really haven't decided um, on that. Um, but on the back here, it's white and I don't like that. Um, we do find whiteness offensive. So... I'm gonna got a bit of good old Primark paper bag. Other bags are available. Um, and yeah, I can just glue that on there and that will give it a little bit more uh, stability. So that's them done. And of course, I'm gonna have to ink all the way around it because that's that's what I like so I'm just gonna go all the way around again in the vintage photo there they are much nicer and grungier now that they've got that on it so, drawn to it being that way. Um, so, now I've got to think about how I'm going to add some journaling to this. So, I need this to be a bit of a pocket. And we want some journaling with it in it now. We've got these. So if I could make that tag to pull out. That would be quite nice and decorative. And we've got a blue and we've got a yellow to go on the inside. I could do that, couldn't I? Right, they do need inking, but I'm just kind of seeing. So if that was in there, yeah, it would have to be down a little bit. 
unless I took a bit off, made it slightly smaller. I am thinking about removing that top bit. No, I'm going to keep it. So I do think I need to take a little bit off the bottom. Let's... Let's take that, that much off. Almost identical, Jess. Did well there. So, don't think it matters if it peaks at the top a little bit because it's going to have paper clip going up there. So, I think that will be all right. Right, let's get the corners done. I might go for the medium corner now, actually. they layer up nicely together so I want a little bit of ink on the back of this because you might see some of it because it's going to be the top of the pocket we need to punch a hole in that now it's quite a big hole so I'm going to use my handheld punch as opposed to a crocodile so that looks like a good size for it, yeah. And we need to ink. So they're all ready to be put together, but um, I'm thinking to give it a bit more of a grungy rustic look i might sew um so so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to sew all the way around these um and then what i might do is do a little bit of a stitch along the top of this and then stitch it to this on those three sides so we'll have sewing going all the way around the top will be open so that the tag can slip down yeah i think that will work nicely um and i might just go the full hog and sew around this one as well why not whilst i'm about it so i'll get those done and come back to you okay so they're all done nicely so I, well that one's not very good, but you know, don't really matter. It's rustic, and um, and that one's done. So I did glue that down first um, before um, I sewed it. So there we got that one, and then we got that one. A little bit better on that one, but not not that much to be fair. So so we've got that. I think they're lovely tags as they are. Tag within a tag. I like it. But we're going to make it um, uh, an altered paper clip. So because it's big, I'm going to use a big paper clip. Um, and um, that will, so uh, measurements for this, it's, it's a three inch paper clip or an eight, eight centimetre one. Um, I've got a scrap of Edith Holden here. A scrap that I probably wouldn't use for very much. I'm using this because I like the colour. kind of goes um, with the kit really well. And um, it's quite a good stiff um, 
paper. So we're going to stick that on there. So that's the bit under there. That's the bit that clips over the page and then this will attach to it. So you will see a little tiny bit of it, which is why I've gone for something that is a good, a good colour. So I'm just going to actually put a little bit of ink just around that top bit. Because you might see a little bit of that, but not masses. So there we go. I probably would have coloured this, um, but I think we'll be, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll manage it. I'm gonna tie a bit of string round the top, um, so we've got something to sort of hold on to. I feel it makes it a little bit easier for pulling um, on and off. So I might do a bow. You might need a little bit more string there if you want to tie a bow, Jess. Yeah. So I'm using jute twine because I think that's very rustic. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm going for that. And I like it. So, we'll do that. Mm -mm. We are. It is quite bulky there, though. Just about. Do you really like it? I don't know yet. It ain't finished, is it? You tie a bow really quickly and then you spend about 10 hours fiddle faddling till it's how you like it. I don't like it. And then you decide you don't like it. So we'll just leave it as a knot. So I don't need that much. I'm sure I'm not alone in changing my mind. So just, there we go. We'll have a little bit less. So we we'll go left over right. And right over left. Nice strong knot. There we go. That'll do. That will do me. There we go. So, got that on there. So I've got something to pull, if need be, for getting it on and off. Okay, so now we need to secure this to the card. So I'm going to use some brown paper packaging tape. I use this on parcels um, and it's got a little bit of a shine to it. So I have other packaging tape that I would use, um, you know, to be seen in a craft project, but not this one. So it's it's handy. For this sort of usage, I mean, you can glue if you haven't got packaging tape. Um, that's another way of doing it. But I just, because it's such a heavy weight, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do a bit of this and then we're going to glue all the way around it as well. So that's that. And then we do a bit on to the side. It doesn't have to be quite so long on the other side. I do age my paper clips often with a bit of alcohol ink, but I've n I don't think I've done any of the big ones, so I didn't have one. Didn't have one at hand to use, but that might have been what I would have done ideally. So that is I'm truly stuck down there. I'm gonna, because that's a bit of a rough edge there. I'm just gonna cut across the bottom there. 
so it's a nice sort of straight edge and I might round I'm just wondering if rounding the corners will actually make it slip in and out off the, the page a little bit easier because it's you're not going to see it so you have to sort of blindly do it so yeah so now I want to glue this to that so I'm gonna draw around it with a pencil so I've kind of got an idea on the back of the tag where the glue is and then we'll do the same on this one because otherwise it's the blind leaving the blind isn't it There we go. So we've got a little bit of an idea there. So I'm going to put glue along the top here. And I'm going a little bit on the inside of that pencil line. And then we'll go all the way around this. So we'll go along the top, down the edges. And then all the way around and on the inside of that. And we'll stick that down. So I've got the paper clip sticking a wee bit up. From the tag I'm gonna get a bit of paper to go up the middle so I can give a good old push down right, I'm gonna leave that paper in there I have to put the next bit of glue on because then if it oozes out I can just probably take this out without it actually gluing to the tag because we don't want it gluing to the tag otherwise it won't work as a paper clip so I'll put some on here move this a tad I want to see I want to see where the other tag is I want them to line up line up top to top Take you out so I can really feel well where that is gluing down to. I've used art glitter so that it sticks quick. Collar takes a while. Well, not like a long while, but it does take a bit of time. So we'll leave that to dry a bit. I'm going to get a little, a little clip to hold it in place, and then we can oh, clip them in. What I want to do is put some ties on these. So let's go that back up because I want to I don't think these will reach in actually Jez I was thinking I'm going to go into the centre so it doesn't fit in I think that will be enough there on the top so 
I want to put a tie in these. Um, so I think I'm going to get a bit of string, about that much. Probably trim it down. And then I want a bit of, maybe a little bit of a ribbon. So I want a little bit of, a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. So let's see what I've got in my, well, I can't find my ribbon scraps. Right, I had a little bit of a rummage. So I've got this yellow, that'll work. I've got this little bit of blue. I think that'll work. So we'll use these. So I'm going to cut a bit off this. And I'm going to tie a little bow. So I am just going to trim these down and I'm going to add a little bit of blue because they are moving. So I did a bow in this one and I just did a knot in the other because the ribbon was a little bit too thick, I think, on this one. So let's just put a bit of, a bit of glue down these bits hold that in place and a little clip just to let that take there we go so the other should be dry now so I need to find Cool. So I say that you could use this as a um, follow this idea just to make a tag. Um, so I was thinking of putting it somewhere where I've maybe got a plain page. Um, that one. Might be nice on that one. We've got a bit of Edith on that side. Yeah. So I might do the yellow flower that way. So we'll pop over the page. So you can still then. So we've got a tag there. You can still journal underneath it. Looks nice there. And then you've got a tag there for journaling on. So it's a way of adding a tag without the aid of a pocket. And, you know, often, you know, we we make journals bottom heavy. And, um, and this is a way of having something towards towards the top um, in your journal. So that is my rustic, grungy rustic, quaint, I'm not sure if I filled the quaint bit, quaint altered paper clip. So, got your journaling bit, got a lovely tack. Thing, and then you can take it off and journal under there and move it wherever you want and you can even use it to you know hold things in so if you had um a vintage document i don't have one to hand no that's i've got a little paper bag there that i made so you could you know hold something else in underneath that as well so you've got, you know, lots of things loaded um, underneath. I was thinking more, you know, sort of journaling. Yeah, imagine that was a was a document. And then you can just pop it under there. So it adds a little bit of extra 
sort of decoration to the page. Um, yeah, so that is my very large um, altered paper clip. I'm just thinking, I want to add a word. I can never leave anything alone. So I've got these words here. Um, thinking I might go for, for yellow. I just made these on my computer. I think these are already a freebie on my Kofi. Um, so if you want to pop over there, you should be able to grab it. So I might go for happiness because sitting in your garden, especially in the, you know, in the nice sort of spring sunshine with maybe a glass of something brings me happiness that's for sure yeah i think you'll go nicely there i think you need something grungy behind and i like i like using cheesecloth always think that gives it a nice grungy grungy look and then there's me little bits of cheesecloth i've got tiny little scraps of cheesecloth here Whenever I cut it, I usually pull a, pull a few threads out. Oh yeah, cooking on gas, finishing touch. That's what it needed, a little finishing touch. So I'll put a little bit of glue stick on there, which I can't see, but yeah, it's there-ish. Under that, marvelous, and then we'll just glue a word on top. And that is just wonderful. I'm just going to give it a bit more of a crunchy, crunchy, and I think that really sets that off so we'll bung one on the other side now i'm thinking little butterfly might just finish it off yeah might put that one on there and then on this side nope think you're getting lost i might just do the same butterfly um you're a bit big. Oh, what about this one? Oh yeah, I think I might have that one. A bit more. Should I put the butterfly down there? Or flying off? Trying to I think we might go down there. Probably all making your own decisions. Put it there, Jez. Put it down there, put it up there. But let's stick that there. And then I think he's too big for up there. I'm going to put him up there. He's massive. He can go up there. And then they're not both the same. And we don't want them both the same. So there we go. That is my big altered paper clip. Which I really like. I might find some nicer stuff to put behind it for photographs, which I'll have at the end. But yeah, that's my quaint altered paper clip. So that's that. So then I thought that there is these two here, and I thought they'd make quite good altered paper clips. So I'm going to get those cut out, and I'll show you another version. Okay, so I have cut them out 
and here I am just roughing up uh, the edges because um, I just thought that would give it a nice sort of rustic quaint charm and then I'm inking around them and I do all, I do uh, put the holes in there's holes there um, ready and um, I'm going to later on uh, put some twine through that okay so I did complete one and I put some hessian around it some burlap because um, it looked a little bit like sacking I thought and was quite rustic and I'm going to pop that on this Edith Holden page just as a decorative on that side and then on the other side I made a little journaling card and um, I thought it covered up that writing quite nicely um, so now I'm just going to show you how I did uh, the twine uh, so I got a bit of twine doubled it over and then I just put it through front to back and then put the ends through the loop that has formed and then tie a bow and if you do the initial knot 90 degrees to where you want the bow to sit then when you finish the bow off it will sit um, in the orientation that you want it to And, uh, and then I do the same on the other one, but I just speed that up a little bit because I've just shown you. So I've made that a little bit quicker um, for you. Um, you can slow this down if you need um, to see um, it a bit better. So I'm just there cutting a bit of cardstock and folding it in half to go um, and form um, the, the, the bit behind. I've chosen cardstock because um, I just felt that it needed a little bit of extra stiffness. I've decided there to add um, a bit of punching um, along the bottom to be decorative. I thought that was um, pretty and, um, and quaint and it's a little daisy border punch so it works um, really well showing underneath and, and then I've got the paper clip but it's not big enough uh, I pulled the wrong one out and um, then we're going to um, stick that down in the same way we've done before with uh, the packaging tape I thought we're really doing the same thing so that's why I thought I could speed this up um, and to a voiceover it was also getting a little bit too long um, but I've shown you three things so um, I just demonstrate in there what I did with the, the hessian but for this one I'm going to use um, cheesecloth um, instead of the hessian it, it made it quite thick actually um, and um, so um, yeah or burlap they're, they're the same thing as far as I'm aware um, and um, so cheesecloth is hardly any weight at all um, but I thought it would give um, a similar sort of nice um, rustic effect to it uh, so yeah I remembered I needed two bits because yeah burk uh, so yeah just cutting those out and I decide that um, the best way to add it I'm just pulling the threads out there because I don't like the cut edge um, the best way to add it would be um, to stick it directly to the bit of tag um, oh no first off I've got to put the little twine and I should have done it first so I've had to sort of really sort of um, think outside the box um, so I had to push a bit of the card down and then poke it through you really need to put this bit on first so as I've done before I'm just tying a bit of uh, twine round the top um, so we've got a little bit of something to pull so I'm just going to glue stick then on the back of the tag and add the cheesecloth to the back and it sticks it down really nicely and uh, I'll do the same on the other side so that they're then ready to stick to the back of the the paper clip so I'm just then going to sort of line it up and see where I think the glue's got to go so I don't want it too low because I've got a bit um, hanging down so just put in my art glitter around there and sticking sticking that down and then repeating to stick the other side down and um, and that 
is all you do. And um, I'm loving. I'm glad I did this third version. I hope it hasn't been too long for you. Um, but um, and then I'm just deciding I'm gonna just give it a little trim. But then I've got to pull the bits out again. Thank you. So that. Can find a nice place in here. Let's put the uh, top on that. So where are you gonna go? Where should we put you? I might put you over there because that's quite a plain book page because it's the other page that's prettier. So stick you on there. Like so I might turn you the other way around. So we've got the pinky on that side if that's state. It might not. There we are. So that is another vaulted paper clip. There you go. I'll give you three ideas. Three ideas. Just a variation on the same theme. There. Got loads of them now. Dotted around in here. One there. Big one there. We've got one on some Edith Holden. Where's that gone? There he is. So yeah, hope you like those ideas. Hope you give them a try. I'll link down below to everybody taking part. There's a link tree. So you click on the link tree and it opens up and you've got links to the kits, both Angela's and um, Rachel Bella's and everybody's... Um, everybody's youtube channel um that's taking part so you can go and you can you can get subscribed to everybody so you'll get and press the bell um so you'll get notification when they load so it should then just turn up in your feed so you're all prepared um for them and um do go and watch them all like them all write a comment on all of them and then you'll be in with a chance of winning one of the Loads and loads of prizes, loads and loads of prizes. Rach will probably tell you all about them. Um, we're just all writing in what we're going to give away um, to uh, lucky winners. Okay, see you all again soon. Thanks for joining me.